Now, say that. Why bad things happen to good people? Why bad things happen to good people? Yeah. And so the first point is... There really aren't good people. The Bible says in Romans 3, 10 and 12, as scriptures say, there's no one that's righteous, not even one. All have turned away from God's ways and no one is truly seeking him. No one does good, not a single one. Not one person. And in Mark 10, 17, it says no one is good except God. And so we're really, we don't deserve good things. Everything we see and everything we receive is by the grace of God. We deserve hell. We deserve destruction. But God's grace grace says, I want to give you new life. I want to give you peace. I want to give you healing. I want to give you um, joy. And so we we are not only God is good. And so everything that we receive is grace from God. So number two. So the first point is it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. So when people say, why do bad things happen? You can answer and say it doesn't happen because we in itself are not good. Mm -hmm. Number two is we are in a fallen world world we are in a fallen world where fallen people do fallen things oh y'all need to put that in the chat we live we live in a fallen world where fallen people do fallen things put that in the chat for us today we have to understand that we live in a fallen world in genesis it tells us that adam and eve ate of the fruit which caused them separation from god and that started the fall of man romans 323 says for everyone has sinned, which means to miss the mark. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. We fall short. We live in a fallen world. Yeah, somebody put that in the chat. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We fallen world where fallen people do fallen things. So this fallen world has sickness. It has plagues. It has disease. It even has crazy fires over in the West Coast in California, Oregon, and Washington. It has natural disasters, volcanoes. It's a fallen world. But in all of that, which means that the world is groaning. It, it it wants something. Again, like this chat and share it. We want more people to hear this message. This message is talking about that the earth is groaning for a savior Mm -hmm. right we're falling with along the world is falling we're falling Mm -hmm. meaning that we hurt people we're fallen people we're fallen people that hurt other people we sin against our other people our our friends our family Mm -hmm. we have free choice guys you have free choice Sometimes I have I've lied to my wife. My wife lied to me. Sometimes I hurt my wife. My wife hurt me. It's a fallen nature. Mm-hmm. But thank God for Christ. Yeah. And this wasn't God's intent. God when he created the heavens and the earth and us, he said it was good. It was very good. But with our sin, we brought that evil destruction into the world. But don't lose heart. This is not the end of the story. He's going to come back and get rid of all evil, all pain, all sickness. He's going to give us a new earth and a new heaven, an earth that's not going to have earthquakes, an earth that's not going to have fire that destroys homes and and um, sicknesses that are kill babies and all those things. So we have to take heart that God is not through. And the third point is we have to realize we have an enemy, y'all. We have an enemy that's out here trying to kill, kill steal, steal, and, and destroy. destroy you. So it's not God that's doing these things. We have an enemy that's been defeated and he's mad and he's trying to take as many people with him as he can. And so we have to know that Satan is the enemy that's trying to cause the sickness and the destruction because Amen. they want he wants us to get our eyes off of God and believe his lies and saying, how can there be a good God if I see um, my grandma die of cancer? How is there a good God if um, earthquakes killed an orphanage? How is there a good God? It's an evil enemy that's trying to cause us to keep our eyes off of God and turn from him. But God came to give us new life. Mm-hmm. He came to save us. And so we have to keep our eyes on him. And I love what Romans says in um, 8, 35. 35 and 37. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? 
Does that mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble? Meaning if the bad things happen to us who are good people, or if there's calamity, or if we're persecuted, or if we're hungry, or if we're naked and don't have a place to live, or if we're in danger, or if there's a fire that, that destroys our house, does that mean that we're separated from God's love? Does that mean he no longer loves us? He said, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ Jesus. And so just because some bad things happen to us, that does not mean that God does not love us. Does that mean that he is not the God who he says he is? He is in heaven and we will go through troubles here on this earth. But take heart. Jesus Christ has overcome this world. Amen. So, so can we. But we have to keep our eyes on him. There will be trials. We will lose loved ones. We will have things that happen to us that say, God, why? Why me? But we have to understand that we do not deserve anything but what God gives. He gives us the grace to live live in a new life and he wants healing for us but we have to keep our eyes on him amen amen did y'all like that those three points that um why do we can answer the question with like this why do bad things happen to good people first they don't secondly we we're living in a fallen world and fallen people do fallen things and thirdly we have an enemy mm -hmm. did y'all enjoy